Yes, we're talking about fantasy football in April, and we're going to continue looking at the impacts of free agency. Today, we're talking about Kenyon Drake. Now, much like the original Drake and Josh that we all know and love, there is one person ruining the lives of both Drake and Josh. Gruden. Kenyon Drake was already a pain to own last season. He finished as RB16 in PPR, which isn't bad, but he was wildly inconsistent week to week, scoring under 10 points six different times. Now Drake will be a certified backup in Las Vegas, and while Gruden says he plans to be creative and get him involved at receiver, I'm not optimistic that's going to work. It might sound nice, but I doubt it's going to be effective enough to give Drake any consistent standalone fantasy value throughout the course of the season. Now why do I say that? Well, this is a team that barely utilizes their actual wide receivers. The Raiders targeted their wideouts at the lowest rate in the NFL last season, opting to use their tight ends more often instead. And those tight ends aren't going anywhere. Darren Waller is going to continue to be a stud, and while Jason Witten is out of the picture, Raiders beat writers are already predicting a bigger role for backup tight end Foster Moreau, who was a touchdown vulture himself a couple years ago. So knowing all of that, I'm supposed to believe that the Raiders are going to turn Kenyon Drake into some dynamic running back receiver combo? I don't buy it. The biggest thing this move does is take Josh Jacobs firmly out of the RB1 discussion, pushing him into more of a mid-tier RB2 while Drake is more of a bench asset. If I have to say one nice thing about Drake though, he probably becomes the most valuable handcuff in fantasy, because should anything happen to Josh Jacobs, Drake would become a solid RB2 just based on volume alone. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more fantasy content just like this, and of course, be sure to comment what or who you want to hear about next. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I truly mean that. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys next time.